Welcome back everyone. This is the second video in the Hypercube Evolution build that I'm doing. Uh, in this video we just take a look at the bare frame. Uh, so I've got all the extrusions together. Just talk a little bit about how it's going, dimensions and uh, just getting it all put together. Okay, well let's take a look at it now. So here we are with the frame construction. I've pretty well got all the extrusions together here and everything's in the place it should be and I don't think it's looking too bad at all. Okay so just looking at the top extrusions here we've got a corner brace in each corner and underneath here we've got two L braces just to strengthen uh, that joint up. On the next cross extrusion we've just got a corner bracket and down the bottom again we have one of the corner brackets and underneath here we have two more L brackets just to keep it all nice and tight. That's pretty much the same construction for each joint between the extrusions. Okay so just looking at some of the measurements we've got 130 from the top to here and from the top to the top of the bottom extrusion is 360. The original design called for just 10 mil in here however I've changed it a little bit and I've allowed an extra 100 mil in here because I'm wanting to fit the power supply and control electronics uh, in the zone underneath the printer just to keep it tidy rather than having it mounted on the back of the printer and I'm also thinking I'll put a panel across the bottom of the printer there with the controls on it and everything like that just to keep it tidy. These are a little fiddly to put in. I found nipping them up so that they're almost tight and then positioning them where they need to be and then nipping them up just you know so they are tight is probably the way to go actually that one there is probably a little bit high still these haven't been nipped up totally tight because things have to uh, screws have to come out of here for some of the uh, brackets to go in and everything so I'll um, as that goes together I'll nip everything up nice and tight to complete it. Okay, well that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll start looking at getting some of the rails in. Cheers for now. If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.